everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I've got a new deck by Helen and Michaels Audacious Action Angels Oracle and not only Helen and Michaels but Lorraine Rowe You all know that I work with the angels so that is why it caught my eye um, it is twenty four ninety nine at time of reviewing and this is what the box looks like outside so let's get started by unpacking the box let's have a look It's a voluptuous small box and it's got a white ribbon and what it says is an oracle card deck that connects uh, you with your angels and gives solutions to daily questions about living, provides tangible action steps to a more passionate life, beautiful artwork and fun, yet inspiring messages from the angels to you. You have your own audacious angels working alongside you every day, helping you to live in your life and listen to its knowing. Now you can gain guidance more quickly and clearly by using the Audacious Action Angels Oracle or the AAA Oracle, as they like to call it. The Oracle is the perfect uh, any time tool to use when you need to ask angels for help, hints, humor or hugs. All you need to do is pull out the oracle to find your answers because this baby whips you into shape. But it's no shortcut. Through 44 beautiful oracle cards showing life's daily pros, cons and teases, you will laugh your way to a happier you with your angels by your side. So, so what are you waiting for? Your audacious action angels say, let's get going. It's a magnetized box and I love the modern colors, the uh, modern aspect of the deck. It's just a plain white box. Um, it's got a a bar of cardboard here just to make the uh, cards fit into the box okay and it's got a helpful book the pictures are black and white I see Helen's dedication for St Stephanie whose divine and loving presence set a new course for my life merci beaucoup Lorraine's dedication. I dedicate this card deck to people with a desire to get sober. God bless you, your honesty, courageous courage and humor. Then we have Helen's acknowledgments, Lauren's acknowledgments, and then we have the contents introducing audacious auction uh, action sorry action angels, the AAA Oracle the background, the author and the cards that's car, uh, card spreads card spreads oracle deck uh, cards and their meanings so you get all the cards um, and it's about two pages then you've got a conclusion about the author the AA oracle deck this is a deck for your for your angels have been waiting for you. This is your spiritual training re regime. This time your audacious an angels of action have a plan you can stick to. That's because anytime, anywhere you can ask them for help. Hints, humor and hugs. Well, and that is what I have just read on the from the back of the book. Okay they are um, <coughs> excuse me during the journey you may find you are growing spiritually to 
three times the size you are now. Doing the dance with a vampire, they are all metaphors for spiritual personal training that includes giggles, rest, boundaries, cr creativity, uh, sadiness, and a lot of sexy. Okay, sassiness, sorry, and a lot of sexy. Your audacious angel, angels want to guide you, reassure you, and dazzle you with their wit and wisdom. You are learning to give, to live in your body and listen to its knowing. Sure, this takes some patience, humility, agility, and humor, but you are successfully partnering with spirit and your body to take the journey of a lifetime. Your audacious uh, action angels say, let's get going. That's the, the, the same as the back, near enough. It's more extensive. Background. Uh, Helen Michaels and I have been on a rapid fire spiritual journey for a few decades now. However, the biggest surprise of our journey was when our uh, psychic abilities came to us rather quickly in our forties. Helen is an artist and Reiki master and a very experienced art therapist. I'm a former investigator, investigative television reporter, an intuitive and, uh, and an author. Helen especially channeled a painting a day for more than a month when she conceived of these uh, when she conceived of these cards i took them and wrote them up according to both of our interpretations mm, our own experience with spiritual journey and based on some wisdom of friends family members and mentors we believe the cards convey a powerful uh, of an open communication with spiritual being and the power of laughter my six year old son suggests naming this deck the lovely 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 dick that does in a way sum it up this is a love fest between divine and you welcome to the real world ah, right and uh, then you get the card spreads the V spread the yes spread them okay then you get the rocket ship okay and then you've got three wishes three wishes and uh, angelic personnel trainers what's that card meaning feel the burn your angelic helpers are here's, here starts the cards but they're not numbered by the looks of it Uh, Archangel of Mental Workers. You get a picture of the cards. Um, Black Swan. Charge it. I'm going to have a look at the cards first. Perhaps the book might make more sense. This is the backing of the cards. That's uh, advertising cards. More of Shiva's cards. So, just put that there. And we've got three. Okay, they're not numbered. And this is what could be confusing for everybody. They're not gilded. They are quite sturdy. They're quite thick. They're a bit like the uh, within spirit tarot, the same thickness. The three wishes. The three wishes. I'll just go through the cards so you can see them. I've got to take them down a bit. There you go. The three wishes. This looks like three stars. And gen uh, angelic personal trainer. I 
Archangel of Mental Makeovers. Now it will take some time before I can. Uh, the keywords or the na uh, the words underneath doesn't really explain. So I think you'll have to read the book. The Black Swan. Charge it. <coughs> Crazy mystique. I love the colours. They're very, very vibrant. They're very vibrant. Perhaps if I might make them a little bit bigger. There you go. It's the woods. She's also covered by angelic power. Date with destiny. Direct dial archangel. I like the modernness about the cards. I full tower. The I full tower. I think I was really playing with the words. Fairy dust. First things first. Flavorful features. Friendly skies. Good vibration angel vibrations angel. Grape stomping. High octane. High Octane House of Mirrors Hot Lips Interview with a Psychic Kick it up Kick it up and then you've got foundation, forty, flourish, flex. So I suppose you can also see what word do you see first of all? Kill it, especially when you have this deck yourself and you pull a card for the day. Killer instinct. <coughs> Lights out. Magic wand. Mending day. New clothes. News flesh. Your ideas coming your way. All sets. That's the divine talking to you. On your knees. Personal prosperity. Play date. Power up. Michael, Prince Charming of Protection. Size three times. It's three times bigger. Sleeping Beauty Suit up and show up Threesome Vampire Two Step Wake up Warmly Receptive What's cooking? Which Wicked Wonders Wild 
wild roses. A warm fall. Yes. Distant, the word is there. Yes. So, I think they're very modern. Let's have, see how they. Sh oh, they. Sh they shape very well that way. They shake very nicely. Okay, now there was one that I wanted to see. See whether I can find it. I wanted the black swan. That's the one that stood out to me. Interview with a psychic. So let's have a look. It would have been easier if they were numbered. Because if you have to refer back to the book every time, then it is a bit tedious because it will take a long time. Okay, the black swan. Okay. Your meaning, your inner drama wants to take center stage. What you resist persists. Let the drama play out in your life. <coughs> That's the short um, line or uh, meaning of it, and then it goes into detail. <gasps> and that's this card, the black swan. You are center stage right now, but there is also a darker component waiting. Just off stage behind the curtain, Now's the time to let your drama join you on stage. Let the emotional dance, the powerful words, the dramatic sound track from parts of your life tell their story. Sometimes this stuff just has to play out. Drama can be a gateway to a higher perspective and a real relationship with power. The players called pain, poverty and pulp need their voice. Once they take the lead and have their say, it's clear the, day, the way. These leads are like frustrators, uh, frustrated actors. They yammer at, their, at you constantly, but once they have their starring roles, they leave the stage satisfied. This card invites you to name the drama for what it is in your life. Allow it to take center stage, then see what power there is in its release. The black swan is ready to make a debut in your life. That's rather cool. So let go of the old by giving it center stage. That's really, and now we've got the interview, interview of the psychic, and you get the four cards that arise in this part. But I'm just still going back to the old-fashioned way, the index. Okay, let's have a look. The psychic interview with the psychic, page forty-eight. interview with a psychic. So you get uh, a picture of the next six six cards and then it goes into there. <laughs> Sorry about that sound. <laughs> okay, um, sometimes I get so involved with the cards that I don't, I just think I'm on my own. Okay, interviewing the psychic. 
time to acknowledge the true psychic looking back at you in the mirror. I think that's a sweet, sweet card. So, in other words, facing yourself. So, what does a psychic look like to you, anyway? Does the image include a bandane, bandana, bang, bangles and crystal ball? Let's take a look. Walk into your bathroom and share into the, stare into the mirror. There you go. What That's what a psychic looks like. It, in other words, look at yourself. Everybody's got a different picture or imagination of what a psychic should look like. When you align with the divine, you hear and see spirit beings. You suddenly just know the truth about a situation, or you constantly have divine perfect timing. That means you are uh, having psychic experience. Maybe that's been happening your entire life. Now you know that what to call these events. Have the courage to call yourself a psychic or an initiative. That is what we call keeping it real. There is no need to hang a neon sign. However, speaking your truth about your experience to people you trust and journaling about psychic experiences reinforces them uh, as being real. Ask yourself, am I really psychic? What proof do I have that is true? I am really supported by my angels on this journey. There is now you there. Now you have interviewed a psychic. You. So yes, this is these cards um, are starting to work again now. I have to get into them because it will stimulate you, it will make you think. Uh, it's like facing yourself. This is a very modern, simple, easy to understand way on how it works and what you can do. It really does show you uh, what to do. It gives you a suggestion, it also gives you an answer. This will help you to understand yourself. Oh, I love this deck. And especially, I suppose, uh, you can do the reading for yourself with these cards because they give you the explanation, they give you the answer, and they also give you a sort of like a task, how to cope with it, how to face it. That is really awesome. I'm really happy with this deck. And this is also a good deck when you're doing a reading like I do every week to give somebody an extra deck, an extra idea on how and what to do. A guidance, that's the word I was looking for. So, I hope you like this deck and uh, I'll leave all the information below as usual. Um, and please like and share. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.